face to everybody uh, this is about california earthquake leaves scar on the desert and as you can see here on the left is june 29 2019 and of course this is how the desert looked like and on the picture on the right is july 6 2019 and crack caused by earthquake so the two different pictures are what they or not what they seem, but it is because the picture on the right has the crack caused by the earthquake. The strongest earthquake to hit California in two decades left a scar across the desert, which can be seen from space. New pictures show the 7.1 magnitude earthquake struck on Friday at a depth of just 0 0.9 kilometers. That's creating a fissure near its epicenter about 240 kilometers north east of Los Angeles. So yeah, so the, earth, the strongest earthquake to hit California in two, days, two decades had left a really big scar in a desert all across the desert. And of course, the 7.1 magnitude earthquake did strike on Friday and it's really damaging. It was felt as far away as Phoenix, Arizona, more than 560 kilometers southeast. A 6.4 magnitude earthquake had struck nearby the day before. Yes, yeah, so it was felt far away as into Phoenix, Arizona, because they felt it. And of course, it was struck. Um, nearby the day before and as you can see here here's a woman or a little girl in the crack of the um where the earthquake has struck at and i really think it's a bad idea for her to be in there because you never know what's going to happen here's a guy who has his ear to the the road to listening to see what if anything else is going to happen. The earthquakes caused a number of minor injuries but no deaths. Mostly they left their mark on the landscape damaging homes, water mains and roads. Yeah, so that, that's what it did. There was no deaths but it did cause a lot of minor injuries. Mostly left a mark on the landscape so the landscape was pretty damaged bad. The crack in the desert captured in before and after pictures released by Planet Labs opened close to the epicenter of the quake near the town of Ridgecrest. So yeah, so there was images that were um, released by Planet Labs th that opened and closed to the epicenter. According to a tweet from Will Marshall, Planet Labs chief executive, the patterns in the sand suggest water was sucked from the ground in a process called dewatering. So, yes, yeah, so the water was sucked up and it was called dewatering. Now, I don't know what dewatering is, but that's what happened. And, of course, there are the patterns in the sand. On Monday, U.S. President Donald Trump approved a request by California Governor Gavin New Newsom to declare a state of emergency, unlocking extra funds. So yes, yeah, so there was a state of emergency Monday by um, President Donald Trump to approve a request by California Governor. So this way they could have um, emergency funds. See, Somalis warned that further earthquakes were a possibility. Tremors were still being felt in the area for days afterwards. So, yes, yeah, so there was more tremors or still being felt all over the place. And, of course, you know, it's not easy to deal with it. But, and, of course, the earthquakes are dangerous because they can destroy anything. The size of the earthquake has led to more discussion of California's preparedness for the big one, a catastrophic earthquake that 
say seismologist say as well overdue along the San Andreas fault. Yes, so the earthquake has been discussed. It was led to more discussions of the preparedness for the big one. But what big one though? The seven point one was the big enough um earthquake that hit California. And of course here's um the image here as you can see the road has been cracked and there's two people talking. I think one of them is for the military. I'm not sure. I can't say it is. Governor Newsom told reporters it was a wake-up call for the rest of the state and other parts of the nation. Yes, yeah, so it was finally a wake-up call for everybody. You um, know, wake up for the rest of the state of California and parts of the nation. California is it the metis of installing a statewide early detection system due to be completed by 2021, which will not only stop trans but also open the doors to fire stations moments before an earthquake hit. So California had its um metis of installing. <coughs> Excuse me, dry air. statewide early detection system that was due to be completed by 2021. <coughs> Excuse me. And they will not only stop trains, but also open the doors for fire stations as well. Experts said the recent quakes did not happen along the San Andreas Fault and are, are unlikely to affect it. Yes, yeah, so experts say they did not happen along the San Andreas Fault. So where else could it have happened at? Well, here's a picture of of where the earthquake had took place at in California. Of course, you got Los Angeles, um, July fourth earthquake, six point two four magnitude. I'm sorry, and of course, um, the July six seven point one magnitude. And, if, and, you know, it's not a pretty sight to be having earthquakes at all because, you know, it's damaging and damages the, everything that you could think of. So if you ever feel an earthquake or whatever, go run. Don't stay where you think you're going to be safe because you're not going to be safe at all. And it's too damaging the earthquake. Leave your comments below. I am out.